<laughs> well, good day, mate. My name's Dave. And I'm Brad. And this is the Travelling Brothers Cigar Review. Cue and... mu music. Cue music. Cue music. Well, we're live. Uh, uh, Dave. Yeah. We, we, don't, we don't have any followers. We don't. We don't have the people, people, we don't have enough people that follow us to go live. So we're not live. We're... We're faux live. What does that mean? Faux, F-A-U, you know, like fake, fake live. I'm not, I'm in the flesh, I'm here, I'm real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're not live, but I'm going to post this, no editing. Uh, no, we can't do that. You no, know, we can do that. No. It's no, no, no. time for us to do some live practice. We, we say a lot of bad words. <laughs> we do. What are we smoking today, Brad? A Placencia Alma del Campo. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. We'll put a photo up. Actually, Brad just took a really nice photo for Instagram. We'll put that up. Uh, what size is it there, Brad? This is a Robusto. Uh-huh. So they, the Robusto actually comes in two sizes. So this is the smaller of the two. Perfect right. morning cigar. Perfect morning cigar. Yeah, noobs, take the footer off the bottom before you light it. Yeah. Yep. That's an experience. So this is our first cigar of the day, Brad. We're in the morning, in the devil's den, in the morning. The birds are chirping. I don't know if you can hear it or not. It's spring. So spring in Maryland obviously means it's raining. So not a lot of riding. So we thought we'd do a review with you guys. Get it I out to you straight I away. today. I know you rode today. Very good too, P1. I rode today. Good job. I try. That's a good job. Try we'll to get we'll still go for a ride, but no, no, no. We'll go practice uh, practice some of those takeoffs in the wet. See if we can get that back wheel spinning. Too late. <laughs> too late. <laughs> Did you give me an empty lighter? No, I just filled it. Probably. Oh, I just filled it. Thank you. So the uh, Placencia. Placencia, uh, now, you know, uh, Dwayne, who you guys have met on our previous video, I think he calls them, what's he called them? The gorilla in the room, the, the 80,000 pound gorilla or something like that. He says they're like the biggest tobacco manufacturer. They on, make for everybody. On the set. They make for everybody, don't they? Yeah, they do. And they grow for everybody too, right? Mm-hmm. So a lot of the tobaccos that you get, come through Placencia in one way or another. And you know what I've realized? 80,000 pound gorilla, I think he calls them. The 80,000 pound gorilla. Oh, you know what's coming out this week? Who's coming out this week? King Kong versus Godzilla. Godzilla? Yeah. I thought they made that movie a dozen times. They made it again. Mm. No. Well, it kind of speaks to why their cigars are so rich you know what? and beautiful. You know what? That's a generational thing. I just thought about that. You know, movies used to be newly created right but the generation now they want to redo everything because they figure that we do it better because yeah they want to redo everything because they figure that they can do it better that Not the people before we do. didn't do it good enough we do better. well let me just remind you if you're thinking about you know who's the who's the smarter generation back when we used to get no motorcycle, question us. motorcycle no manuals when we used to get motorcycle manuals it used to te teach you in the manual how to adjust all the settings for your motorcycle, how to replace every part right down to the washer, everything else. Nowadays, for your generation, it tells you not to drink the battery fluid. What's an owner's, what's a manual? Mm. The rest of my case, right? I mean, what's a manual? <laughs> Every manual is on YouTube, and you watch more YouTube than I do. Mm -hmm. mm. So, we're lit up. I just took a sip of this black rifle coffee. Mm hmm. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Why do we cheers coffee? He cheeses everything. Happy at life. So, this cigar, with my extensive research, is a Nicaraguan Puro. It's a Nicaraguan Puro. We smoke a lot of Nicaraguan Puro. Placencia, Alma del Campo. Uh, what size? I, I would have called this a Robusto, but they've got a special name for it. What's the. Tribune. Tribune? Tribune. Tribune. Yeah, Robusto. Uh, well, there's two Robustos. There's two Because they have Robusto. a Gordo of this. So they have a fat Robusto and a skinnier Robusto. Kind of like us. <laughs> fat Robusto, skinny Robusto. I think not. But 
best morning cigar ever. Uh, I say that about a lot of cigars, actually. <laughs> actually, I'm but this is if you get if you get a cheap one. It, uh, here's the thing. So this cigar is so rich in espresso, uh -huh. um, cocoa, and uh -huh. you know those nutty goodnesses uh -huh. that you get that hazelnutty. That it's almost too rich to have all the time, in, in my opinion. Like, I, this is, for me, I, I do not want to do anything. I don't even want to be working while I'm sitting enjoying the cigar. Like, this is my cigar with a view, enjoying, like, what we're doing right now. Like, sitting, watching the view, hearing the birds chirp, springs coming in. That's this cigar. Our everyday fight it out, knock it out, is our um, St. Cristobal. So, I was just about to say exactly that. I was going to say, normally this cigar would be... <clears throat> a second cigar for me if I was going to do a second or even a third one where I'm sitting down I'm having a break having a coffee I might be doing some stuff on my iPad just quietly nothing that I'm going to it's going to take my attention away to from put it. this down you don't yeah, want this going yeah, out yeah. so if I'm um, I, actually, I actually do a lot of conference calls with my work right and so I tend to have a cigar whilst I'm on a conference call because I I can Focus on, because all I'm doing is talking and listening like we're doing right now. And so I can have a cigar in that time and quite enjoy it. Whereas if I'm typing and concentrating on trying to create or type or, you know, answer emails or, you know, do anything like that, you've got to put it down and pick it up and put it down and pick it up, put it down and pick it up. It goes out. It gets a bit stale. It lasts a long time. That is not, the, that's not, this is not a cigar for that. And also, I mean, it's like this, a, it's this like is a, not a cigar it's for It's like that. a $15 cigar. No, this is one you want to sit and relax and enjoy. Right? But they were so good. Oh, they're, they're so, so good. good. Yeah. And they come in this really cool, um, in the box, it comes with a ashtray already built into it. Mm. Does this size do that as well? I thought only the Toro oh, did high. that. I don't know. Actually. But you're right. The, I think the, the Toro size comes as a box and the lid of the box flips out and it's an ashtray. If I hadn't thought about it. We should have could have shown them one. We've got one in there. Yeah, we'll take a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know what I just realized as you were talking? What's that? You know, it, you know it's fallen on kind of deaf ears a little bit, but you know, you go to have a cigar and you all always talk about like, ah, oh, I want to go have a cigar, go to the lounge, talk to a couple people, and enjoy that piece of it. You know, cigars for us at least, we build our cigars and what we smoke around what we're doing. Yeah, like I go to my humidor. I was going um, the other day. We went out riding, and I went to the humidor. I'm like, okay. I put those Whiskey Rebellion oh, cigars. They were stronger than I thought, too. Yeah, they're, they're a lot of fun, those little ones, right? <laughs> but I got these shorty Whiskey Rebellions from Roma Craft Tobacco. And I threw them in there. I'm like, oh, I'm going to meet them. We might have like a couple minutes of smoke, so let me put them in there. And something that's short, that's good, it's outside, it was hot. I think it worked really well, and that would have been better with a cup of coffee. Oh, yeah, it would have been much better with but, a cup of coffee. It was just nice. You build cigars around the experience. I always sometimes think of cigars first than I do. Yeah. What so, I'm doing. so I was taking. So you you were out riding. I was taking my kids out to the to the range to go shooting, and uh, we got to the range. And who's I, there? I wasn't I wasn't riding. I was I was practicing. You were riding, and he was uh, he was waiting for us. Mm -hmm. Saved a spot for us in the car park. I did. Which was clearly a sign that the ranges were full and there was a long wait. So we, uh, instead of shooting, we had a cigar in the car park. Thinking back on it, I probably should just put your name in with the people. I didn't think about it. But, yeah. they, you know, that's okay. We, we only had limited time. But uh, it was a busy day. What can you say? You just got up late. Mm. So, um, there's a reason for that. We can talk about that too. But, uh, so you had those Whiskey Rebellions and that was the first cigar I'd had that morning. I hadn't oh, had a cigar yet. No. And the Whiskey Rebellion is only a tiny little... Yeah, it's like a fat cornet. Yeah. And it tasted really nice. And I only had it with water. So it's, it, was, uh, it, it wasn't so strong tasting that, you know, you needed something like coffee or something else to, to clear your palate. Those cigars have... It went really smoothly. But afterwards, I went, oh, I need something to eat. <laughs> 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 Roma Craft, they they just sneak up on you. They do. It's even not even their lighter wrappers sneak up on you. It snuck up on Jeremy too, eh? Hey? Yeah, did yeah, it? Yeah. So I, I want to review those. So we have to go back and do mm. another Roma Craft. And I think those I are have the good ones. I'll copy with it this time. Yeah. But midday. Great midday cigar. Um, but they're strong. A lot of their tobacco yeah. is strong. And it's good. Yeah. So 
Uh, this weekend, uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Black Dragon and our friends down at uh, Black Sabbath Motorcycle Club. And they lost a brother this week and they're going through the celebrations of his life this weekend. Uh, we've sent some cigars down for you guys to uh, have a quiet moment together. Uh, I know they've arrived, Strictly's got them. And uh, from us to you, uh, condolences. condolences, rest in peace, Iceberg. And, and celebrate his life. As we're doing right now. Just thinking about some Right? Life is for living, right? Life, life is for the living, yes. Life is for living. Not for the living. Life is for living. I mean, you know what? You want to enjoy your life. You want to... You want to experience life. You can't sit on your butt and work hard to do nothing for your life and end up dead and going, oh, I didn't do anything with my life. You've got to live it. You've got to experience it. You've got to take the chances. You've got to get out on your motorcycle in the wet today and go for a ride and, and feel the rain on your face. I was practicing again today. You should have opened up your uh, helmet and felt the rain hit your face. That's kind I of did. cool. I did. I had a cigar going when I left the house. You had a cigar going on the bike in the rain. rain. <laughs> there uh, we go. You know that Perdomo you gave me? That Perdomo, the 20th? Oh, yeah, yeah. I had left it over two days ago. And it was hitting in the ashtray. And it had half left. Oh, that would have been nasty. It was perfect. Was it, it was all great. right? Yeah, it was. Oh, goodness. Because it's, it's been raining, so it's so humid. Uh -huh. So um, I cut off the tip, so it was, it was good. It wasn't ashed. And I just let it sit there for even a day. It was fine. It was still moist. It was good. I let it up. I went. Down oh, the I see. So you cut off your tip when you yeah. when you when you closed it down for the night. Well, that was one cigar I made the mistake of lighting while I was doing some work. Right. And yeah, it gets back to what we were saying before. And and we've said to you in reviews here. You know, when we're doing a review, we're talking, we're pumping through. Like you can see, um, Brad's pulling on token on that cigar, kind of heavy. Mm. Uh, we tend to do that. I'm I'm savoring this, man. I don't care. I'm gonna, I know what it tastes what like. You, I can you, tell them saying, what it tastes you're like. You're saying I'm, I'm just... not savoring it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just doing less talking than you. I'm not waffling on. Yeah, waffle, 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 waffle. I was mocking you. Sorry. I was retro hailing. Oh, can't do that. That's. I was. I was retro hailing while you were mocking, so mm -hmm. that. Ooh. Mm, power mode. Oh, that's all nut. Power, yeah, nutty. You just nutty on the retro house. Just nutted. Nutty on the retro house. It's beautiful. Nutty. I'm nutty. So, would this be a noob cigar? Absolutely. Mm hmm. This would be a stronger noob cigar. It's a medium body. A medium body. This would be a noob evening cigar. Yeah. Which we, you know, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I've hit this at night. Oh, yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's an any day cigar. Uh, now they've got another couple of cigars that step up in range in their, uh, the El Fuego. That's what I was going to, yeah, the red one. I love that cigar, the El Fuego. And then what's the dark Maduro Placencia called? Comes in a, comes in a Figurado and an octagon shape. Oh, do you want to look it up? You can look it up if you want to, but, uh, um, the, the, um, now, the Marte. It might be that, yeah, 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 yeah. And each one of them, if you go in and you look at cigars, there's a few brands that are expensive, and you go, I wonder if it's worth it. Placencia is one of those. They know and what they're doing. Your consistency on these things is great. The flavour is always full and and pleasant and fantastically blended. And uh, you're just not going to, if it's a special cigar, oh, I really like a nice cigar, you could go with one of these. Now, Padrone is another one, but not everybody likes Padrone like this this guy here. We were in Myrtle Beach, and we were at the, um, is a cigar in? Tinderbox. Tinderbox. We went to Tinderbox. the Tinderbox. Shout out to them. They took really good care of us. Mm. Hey, uh, Tinderbox, I don't know if you're watching... We're coming down to Myrtle Beach again real soon. We'll tag them. We'll uh, we'll tag you in this, and um, we'll come down and do a review with you guys. We'd love to do a review. With we you. didn't have time to do that last time. We talked about yeah. doing it, but we will definitely do it this time. We're going to have some mm -hmm. time on our hands. We will commit to doing a review mm -hmm. down in Myrtle Beach.
But I will tell you, I went into that humidor. Beautiful humidor, by the way. Yeah, a long it, skinny L. Wasn't it, yeah. It? yeah, it had like it was like a C almost because it had two little sections there. But I went through that humidor and I was walking with um, um, one what? of our close friends. Ghost. Oh, okay. Ghost. And I was walking with him, and we were looking around, and we all wanted a really nice cigar to sit outside and smoke because this was in the thick of COVID. Oh, we don't talk about that, do we? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so we were in the thick of it, and we walked. We're live. Around. We can't cut it out. No, it happens. So <laughs> you you grab you went around. I think you grabbed you didn't grab a padrone, but we grabbed a couple of nice cigars, and I passed over the padrones. I don't like them, and I went right for a placencia. Yeah. Oh, you're pouring heavy. Look at this guy. Professional. Look at that. We just needed a refresh. You want me to mm, refresh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keep telling your story about Tinderbox. So we were walking around and looked, and I found the Almarte. It, it, the Pentagon shaped, nice thick water. It's it, it, beautiful wrap. It's eight sides. It's an octagon. Oh, my Is it God. eight sides? Six. I think so. Hexagon. Yeah. I thought That's it was. called the hex. The, the hexagon shape. Yeah. But it, I went for that over a Padron. And in fact, I went over that over a Davidoff. Because I bought the late hour for later. Yeah. And I wanted something special. You bought special. the late hour for the late hour. Yeah, exactly. And I wanted something special, so I reached for the Placencia. Mm-hmm. And it's that, it's that consistent. I put them on par with the two of them. So for those there. people out there that are experienced cigar smokers and they're saying, oh, that Placencia hexagonal one is horrible. It splits down the side. It doesn't anymore. So when they first brought them out, you know, Placencia went, well, what can we do that's different? So first they brought out this Figurado, which is just b beautiful, a box-pressed Figurado. Yeah. Right. And then they brought out this hexagonal press, box press. Right. And, but they, their original presses made the crease a little bit too tight, a bit too sharp. Well, they've changed that now and the, the, they're not pressed as heavily. And so you don't get those. Uh, split problems that you got in the first round of those. So if you had one previously that you had that happen to, and it didn't happen to all of them, but if it did happen, go back and try it again because it's a beautiful cigar and the shape is, you know, it's novel. I don't know that it changes well, anything with the, the flavor, we, but... I want to come back to this for just a second because I'm starting to realize it's changing a little bit. I'm picking mm -hmm. up on some black pepper now. Mm -hmm. kind of, I'm halfway through this. I'd say maybe a third through at this point. This is a Robusto. And I'm getting... I'm still in cocoa and... I'm getting cocoa changes. It's here. coming through differently. This is... I mean, again, I've smoken this a lot. And each time You're I smoking like, it a lot? Smoke it a it. Smoke it a it? Smoke it a it. <laughs> Sorry, keep going. And, you smoked it a lot. Yeah, go on. Littering and... Littering <laughs> and... Smoking the reefer. What movie is that from? I don't know. I don't know that one. Hmm. Comment below. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I bet you, you, you experience cigars differently each time. And I think it's sometimes about what you're doing while you're smoking, too. Like, you can even focus on it where you are. You get different notes, and you experience different pieces of it. I guess it's a lot like wine in that sense. Yeah, well, you know, what you just said is interesting, is that you experience something different each time. That's because these are handmade. And there is, this one is not the same as that one. I mean, it could be it's in the same bar. Not the same. I mean, it could be. Each one made individually. Each one made with separate leaves. I mean, they try and keep them as, com as, as close as possible because, you know, when they pri then when they do the first priming of the plants, of the tobacco plants, they take all the leaves from the one crop and they put them together and they hang them. And they do a second priming and they take all those leaves. And they meticulously keep... The bottom leaves with the bottom leaves and the, you know, the lajero with the lajero. Like they're different. The leaves are graded differently. It will taste different depending on where they come from. So they, they, when they pick the plants and they dry them, they keep all those leaves together. So they go through the process together. They go through the, the drying process and then through the fermenting. fermenting process all together. So you get a, the, 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 the blender tries to get a con consistent flavor, right? But then when they all get split up, right? I, I've got a good analogy for you for this too. Then they go to the roller and the roller takes, a, you know, he's meant to take three of these and two of those and one of those and that's the blend, right? And that's how he does it or she does it. 
And and they do that and they pull them apart and they, they tear this bit to that, put it in there and they tear that bit and put it in there and that work. Every single one is individual. There are no two that are the same. It's like people. They all sort of, you know, they're, they're all people, but they're all different. Everything is different. Mm -hmm. There's no identical twins in this process. Every cigar is unique, which is why we sent down to Black Sabbath cigars. Not because we're into cigars, but because, you know, a cigar goes through 300 pairs of hands to, to mm -hmm. make it. Between three and three and well up years, some some cigars twelve years before they get to the person that's going to smoke mm -hmm. them, right? Um, and not even special ones. Like you're talking about Podomo earlier, they have a twelve year age age yeah. cigar, twelve years before you get your hands on it, and that's after the growing process, right? That's mm -hmm. the that's the fermenting process, aging barrel aging, aging, aging process, yeah. Um, so each one of these unique individual takes a long time to grow and at the end of the day, you've got to burn it and to enjoy it. Yeah. So it's very, very thought provoking when you think about a cigar's use in a, compared to a person's life. Are you burning people? No. Do you light them on fire to enjoy them? <laughs> you dick. <laughs> I'm not cutting that out. <laughs> I, I, all right, I think I get what you're saying is that, you know, it's unique in its sense that it takes, it's such, it's a piece of art and oh. it's one of the only pieces of art that you light on fire to enjoy. No, 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 not, not so much that, but there's so much goes into it and then it's gone. It's just a memory. And so I actually wrote a little piece for, for to go with the cigars. I, I think you read it. Um, mm. That that talked I about definitely read it. talked to the about the comparison of a person's life uh, to a fine cigar, and so much goes into making a person's life. And really, you know, you keep it goes back to what we're saying about living. The more mm -hmm. you live, the more flavor you've got at the end of the trip. Ugh, you got way too much. Flavor. <laughs> you're like you're. Like... <laughs> See, these are the bits that I'd normally cut out where I tee him up for nice deep thought process Man. stuff and he tries to make jokes out of I normally cut those out so that we sound intelligent. You are a Lajero hero. <laughs> you, you smoke you and you're just like, I need I need food, mm -hmm, bro. Mm -hmm. I need a drink. Oh shit. You don't cut that out. <laughs> you cut that out in every video. I was seeing how it was gonna go, but it was going pretty good. You boobed it. I boobed it. Oh yeah that's that's what you do. I'll do you. You gotta, you gotta dig deeper. No. Like, low harder. Yeah. All right. So I'm not getting the pepper that you're talking about. Oh, I got it. So, so it could have been a random lajero has ended up in there. It could have been a random leaf tip. It could have been, you know, one of the leaves in your cigar could have just been spicier than the rest in that blend. And I'm, you've copped a little bit of pepper. I'm a spicy person in the... The world of non-spicy people. Mm. I think I'm getting what you're saying with the. I world. think you're missing my point. No, nope, I definitely got it. I'm the spice to this 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 relationship. Comments below if you got what I was saying. I'm the spice. You have to explain it to I'm me. I'm the please, random. Please put comments in to explain to Brad what I was saying. We don't have any viewers. We've got viewers. A couple. We got actually while we're like and subscribe, please. Your dad watches us. We have a lot of views, but you guys are not subscribing. We need you to subscribe. So that we can Your dad's get great. live. Your dad comments on every video. <laughs> My Shout dad. out to granddad. Shout out to granddad. All right. My dad watches too. I don't know how long we're going. How are we going to finish this? There's only short to go. Are we going to finish it? Yeah. Mm. We'll keep waffling on there. Yeah, why not? And we'll keep telling you what this is about. This is going to be a long one. We said it was going to be a short one. We said it's going to be a short one. It's going to be a long one. Because I'm not editing. I'm throwing it out as is today. Sweet. What do you want to talk about? You're going to have to edit that part out. <laughs> I'm not editing anything out. Your silence, anyway. is, your silence <laughs> is golden. I told you. I warned you. This is going to be like a practice live. Uh, live practice is good. So... You know, we're drinking, I mean, early morning, and we talk about drinking coffees all the time. 
And why don't we try switching up the coffee blends? I mean, you usually buy just black, right? I usually buy just black, yeah. And I think I, so. If you're Black Rifle Coffee people, you'll know that they have different. They have AK, they have just black, they have Freedom Blend, they have Freedom so Blend. I've got some Freedom Blend in there. We can switch up some of that. I, I, I want to experiment a little bit more with the coffee pairings, like because there's different flavors of coffee, different flavors of espresso. Like this one, although it's good, the coffee's strong. It's really good, consistent. It's a it's a medium. Blend I know, but it would be nice to have a little sweetness in this for this. That's what sugar's for. No, but the some of the coffee blends themselves. I don't like putting sugar in coffee. Mm -hmm. I do not like doing that. So, um, yeah, we can run a few different ones through the espresso machine. We do everything with the espresso machine. We do we grind the beans and and uh, put it through the espresso yeah, machine. Fancy. I use a Keurig. Fancy. You use a Keurig. But if you do the Keurig with Black Rifle, you can buy like their little K cups. Yeah, I have. And you can get them in an assorted box i just i have a the reusable k-cup thing so you just put the grinds into that and use it and don't you just buy black rifles k-cups no i do that i could buy the bag and then have it fresh and well i suppose it's still fresh ground then isn't it yeah you just grind it finer no it goes right in the thing yeah but it's a finer grind than an espresso because you're dripping it through yeah whoops this has got to get got to get more uh surface area happening Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do have a lot of surface area. A lot of surface area. We had a lot of good rides coming up. Mm. We do. So uh, we've got a ride coming up to go all the way down Southern Maryland, down to the Tiki Bar. Yeah, we want to. Uh, it's going to be lookout, uh, point lookout all round a six hour ride plus mm -hmm. stops. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a ride. We've been asked to go out to Atlanta. Uh, for a ride, uh, not Atlanta, um, New Orleans. Want to ride to New Orleans? I'm down. One of the guys uh, actually I saw was watching last night from Black Sabbath has just ridden from San Diego to Atlanta on your bike. Well, not your bike, but same bike as yours. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's a big ride for a diner. It's not a diner-ish. Well, it's a diner. I mean, it's not. It's the new version of the diner. You've got a. You've got a street bob. Because my name's Bob. So the street Bob was a diner, and now they've put them on a soft tail frame. They call me Bob. That's why I get another Bob. Nobody calls you Bob. Nobody calls him Bob. My father-in-law's name is Bob. Hmm. All right, guys. This sweet cigar. When I say sweet, I mean good. Sweet, complex, uh, consistent. Consistent all the time. Coffee, cocoa. You said you got a little bit of pepper. I haven't got that. Yeah, very little, very subtle, but mm -hmm. I got it. Mm -hmm. And uh, well worth a look in if you're in your local brick and mortar, looking around the huge array of cigars you can buy. Look for the big P in a, in a circle, and um, and go with a Placencia when you sit want to sit down. Enjoy a cigar. Try one of the Placencias. Very good. No distractions. It's a no distraction. It's cigar. a no distraction cigar. It's one you just got to sit and enjoy. Yep. Uh, we got another one coming up soon. We're going to do a um, a review on. We're, the Alta. This we're actually going to do it in like real soon, but we're going to pump it out next week. Um, the Altidus Trinidad Trinidad Ooh. Series Two in the Lancero. In the Lancero. So we'll tell you all about that in our next video. Yep. Remember, like, subscribe. subscribe, check out the podcast, and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, we've been pumping a couple of TikToks out, so look out for that. And are you TikToking? I'm TikToking. Oh dear! No, TikToks are fun, man. Oh, I can see myself getting made the butt of all these jokes. You are definitely the butt of every joke. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to think about it. I can tell you are the butt of every joke. Well, it's a short cigar. I'm going to sit back and enjoy the rest of it. So I. That's all from me. And that's all from me. Catch you later.